Now that shooting on August 23rd, 2020 left Blake partially paralyzed. The Kenosha County District Attorney chose not to file any charges against the officer involved in this shooting, saying it was possibly self-defense because Blake had a knife. The shooting and its aftermath leading to anger, leading to protests and unrest, as you see in this video here. Tonight, 12 News' Courtney Sisk shares a new message from Blake to after today's rally. It's been nearly one year since Kenosha police shot Jacob Blake. Since then, his family has hosted 70 rallies, and they tell me they don't plan to stop. Hey, everybody say, we love you, Jake. We love you, Jake. Peace and love. I love y'all too so much. Thank you. Family and friends of Jacob Blake gathered at a Kenosha Park Saturday after hosting a rally, nearly one year after Kenosha police shot him, leaving him partially paralyzed. It was the gunfire heard round the country that prompted months of unrest. The district attorney said Blake was armed with a knife and no criminal charges were filed against the officer. In front of my grandchildren. And my grandchildren have to swallow that pill every day. Blake's family says the decision still stings, so they fight on. We have fought together as a family. We've come together and united. But uh, you must realize that this pain is deep. After the rally, family called Blake on the phone. This has to stop. Our children, they have no future if this doesn't stop. They lose hope. If our kids lose hope, what are we going to do? His father breaking into tears once his son hung up. My son means the world to me. He's more than life itself. As he reflects on the past year, he feels there's still a lot more fight to give. We're going to make some good, good trouble. In Kenosha, Courtney Sisk, WISN 12 News. Blake's father says they do plan on marching in Washington next week. Now, as we did mention, the Kenosha DA decided not to file any criminal charges against Officer Rustin Shesky. The Blake family filed a civil lawsuit against him. Shesky returned to work with Kenosha police this spring, and just days ago, the Kenosha County Council voted to approve police body cameras here. The cameras should be ready by late October.